Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this video, I will demonstrate a brand new digital roster for your employees. Previously, I have published two videos on digital roster and many viewers requested me through mails and comments to add a new feature that is the leaps taken by the employees should be shown in the digital roster. I have tried my best and added these features in the digital roster and I have also introduced some new features in this digital roster that makes your work more easier and I will discuss each and every feature of this digital roster one by one. So before starting this demonstration I would like to request you to subscribe our channel to support our work and if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues. So let's begin this demonstration. Here. Here we have basically four sheets that is setting sheet, employee data sheet, lead data sheet and the master sheet for the roster. So with the help of these four worksheets you can create unlimited data roster for years. So here we have some buttons so we will discuss each of them. First we will start with the settings sheet. Click this settings button. We have been moved to the setting sheet. Now let's understand everything one by one. First we have the year list. We have here 5 year 2023 to 2027. You can change this list according to your wish. And then next we have week off. If you want to show the week offs in the roster then you can add the week off. If you have a single week off then type here the single name of the week off that is if it is Sunday type the first three letters of the day that is here suppose we have one then type here Sunday and delete this one and if you have two suppose Saturday and Sunday then type here Saturday and here Sunday and if you want to show this here we have the option show week off. So as you can see here show week off is unchecked. If I go to the master sheet and see here suppose let's regenerate the data roster for this first employee. If I click here M1 you can see the week offs are not shown here and if I go to setting sheet again here and check this one and again go to master sheet and regenerate the data roster for this you can see the weeks off are generated first then the legends for the duties are shown here. Similarly we have the holiday names and dates. So here you have to put the names of the holidays and here the dates. So according to these dates if you want you can generate a legend for these holidays in the data roster. So here you can see the holidays is unchecked and on 1st January here let's take 2023 and here also 2023 and this one also 2023. So we have three holidays in the month of January 2023 and show holidays is unchecked. So if I go to this master sheet and regenerate this one you can see no holiday is generated and now if I go to the setting sheet and check this one and go to master sheet and regenerate this one again then you can see first week ops generated then holidays generated after that the legend for the duties have been generated. So we have three holidays on first, second and 23rd. So we can see 23rd and second has been shown but the first January is not shown because in this day we have the week off. So that is why it is not shown. So let's go to the setting sheet again. Now we have the names of the leaves and the leaf legend. So you can add up to 10 leaf category and here you have to type the names that is short names of the leaves and this short name will be displayed in the master sheet as you can see here uh, we have not added here any leaves so let's go to the 
leave database and here you can see 15th January 2023 employee one has taken a leave if I go to setting sheet and click here show leave and here again regenerate this one you can see the leaves are shown here we have four leaves so in this way the leaves will be displayed in the employees roster the next we have the shift types so here shift a shift b shift c shift d and e you can rename these according to your wish and you can also regenerate this rotation according to your need suppose some of the workers have their duties in this manner first day we will have morning shift then in the next day we will have evening shift then on the third day we will have the night shift then one day off then again the rotation will start from the beginning and the second type of workers have their duties in this way two days morning two days afternoon two days night and then one off then again started from morning shift then again the third shift in this way six days on day duty then one off six days on night duty then one off and then again start from the day shift in this way you can create the shift rotation for different types of employees in your organization and this rotation will be shown in the duty roster so these are these five type of shift you can use and now here we have another thing roster type 1 and roster type 2 so what is the difference between these two let's uncheck these two and we can we will show only the leaves and the roster type 1 so go to the master sheet and let's check here you can see we have first generated the leaves and after that the duty roster is generated here you can see first morning evening night off morning evening night off morning evening night off morning evening night off so the shift that falls on the leaves that were skipped before starting the leaves we have the morning shift and while he is starting the uh, duty again he is given a off so so this is this is duty roster type 1 here you can also see evening then here it should be night and here it should be off so here that one is skipped that is night is skipped but if you check the duty roster type 2 and again go here and regenerate this one you can see no duty will be skipped after here that is a last he has taken the morning shift then after the leave he will get the evening shift and here also off after off we must have the morning shift so after he will get the morning shift no sh shift is skipped for that employees so here we have two type of shift so in this way you can change the setting sheet and here is, there is another thing that is the logo if you click here you will get the open dialog box you can change the logo of your company select a logo and click open here it is changed go to master you can see here it is also changed the setting sheet again click here select this one it is changed here also changed in the main roster and the last thing in the setting sheet is month list this is the list of the month which has already been created so in this column you should not do anything these are auto generated you, you should not delete this one or type anything here so this is all about the setting sheet so now we will discuss about the employee database so click here so we got into employee database here we have to type the employee id then employee name then if you need you can type here the category that is he may be a office worker or factory worker or any other type of employee you can use this column or you may not that doesn't matter then here you have to put the joint date of all the employees 
so according to this joining date the employee will be shown in the duty roster suppose this employees joined on the month of january you can see here one two three four and on february we have two more three more employees so if i go to the master sheet you can see we have taken here january we are getting up to four employees if i take here february you can see four and three seven employees because all these seven employees have already joined your company and if any employee has resigned from your company suppose let's take a uh, employee has resigned your company suppose this one on 1st may 2023 so this employee will be shown in the month of march april and may it will not show in the june because he has resigned on the first day of the so he will be shown on that month and from the next month his name will be not be shown so let's check go to the master sheet and here if i go to march so sorry let's see again this is employee 14 so employee 14 is not shown here in february it is not shown 14 in march it is shown in april it is also shown in may it is also shown in june so we do not have any roster for the june so click yes you can see we do not have the employee 14 we have 13 then 15 because in may this employee has already resigned so we will not get the name of this employee in this month so this is how this employee database work against a joint date and resigned date so this is all about this employee data sheet now we will discuss about the leave database so this is leave database and here you have to add the details of the leaves taken by the employees so first here you have to enter the employee id and here the names of the employee will be automatically generated based on the data you have entered in the employee database and here start date and end date is a date of leave taken by the employee so this employee you can see 10th january 2023 the leave is taken from this date and the leave ended on 15th january 2023 and leave type is ML that is medical leave we have here a drop down list and this drop down list will be automatically up updated from the setting sheet as you add a new leave in the setting sheet this list will be updated let's check go to setting sheet and here I am adding annual leave here AL and now go to leave and here you can see another leave is added annual leave and here the total days taken for leave that is from 10th january to 15th january the total four leaves so let's check in the master sheet this is january from 10th to 15th so here we have six but actually the number of days is four because here saturday and sunday is week off as it is given in week of days if you clear this one then go to leave database it is showing six because you do not have any week off so in this way it works so this is all about this leave data now let's move to the master sheet so this is the master sheet so first thing is that here i have created some roster for the employees but this master sheet should always be clean here there will be no roster so to clear this duty roster just click this button and click yes then all this roster is cleared so in this way the master sheet should look because when we create a new roster for any new month then this worksheet will be copied the name of that month so suppose let's see how many months that we have already created so go to setting sheet 
here in january february march april may and june we have six roster six roster so you see if i click here in january it is moved to january 2023 now february you can see here february 23 in this way we have june but we do not have july so if i click here july so you will be asked do you want to create a roster for the month of july to 2023 if you click no then the roster sheet will not be created and if you click yes a new roster for the month of july 2023 is created and this is clean so here now you can also clean this one because in master sheet we have this data that is why this uh, data is shown so you can clear clear here also and also in master sheet so if you want to delete this july suppose let's see here we have up to july then if you want to delete the sheet of july then just click here do you want to delete the roster of july 2023 yes july is deleted you can see july is deleted now let's go to january here we have the roster for the month of january so if you want to see the report part only then click here you will see the only the report part that is on morning shift we have this much employee in the afternoon shift we have this much employee and if you want to see the roster you can see here the roster and here the number of shift that is given here this morning shift m how many m this way it is given here if you go to february will have different types of shift so in this way you can see here the report and here also you can see a simple report of the data roster so these are all the sheets that is setting sheet then employee sheet then leave sheet then we have the master sheet for the roster so we understood this four roster With the help of this four roster we can create unlimited number of data roster for any number of month for years so i hope you have understood each and every features of this data roster if you have any queries regarding this data roster you can write me in the comment section i will surely reply to all your queries if you want to learn how to create this data roster and if you want to purchase this data roster the link is given below in the description box and if you like this video please hit the like button and share this video with your friends and colleagues and do not forget to subscribe our channel to support our work so thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next video